Hi there and welcome. It's time for an overnighter and uh, this is the first real day of summer so uh, there's plenty of people outside. Uh, the usual places where you go, uh, they have been occupied. So uh, I forest around for a while up in the woods here and uh, here in the forest I found a clearing that uh, it's gonna suit me fine. Um, it's, it's a small clearing, so I'm opting for hammock camping tonight. So I'll start by putting up the hammock so I can chill around on that and later on I'm going to start up some coffee and uh, lunch, dinner, depends on when I'm feel and hungry enough. And uh, today I'm going to do the pasta carbonara, but tag along and we'll see what happens today. I think I'm rather happy with that setup. Uh, now it's chilling time.
so it's been a rather long day and uh, the sun is going down it will be some light for <laughs> yet a time yeah, even if it's 10 o'clock in the evening uh, it's long days now but uh, I'm more or less done so I'm hitting the sack or uh, rather the, the hammock and uh, I hope I'll sleep good and I'll see you in the morning. Until then, good night. Good morning, folks. So, it's 7.30 in the morning, and I've got my coffee. And as you've seen, I used a gas stove this time. And I must say it's an absolute beast when it comes to boiling things fast. Uh, even my coffee boiled over this morning because it was much faster than I expected. So that's a win. And uh, the reason I've used uh, my gas stove is two. Uh, the first one is I've wanted to try it out anyway because we are pl planning a multi-day hike uh, this summer. And uh, we are trying to go as light as possible, not ultra light by any means, but light. So uh, it will be de dehydrated food and uh, we're planning to do it on the gas stove since it's, we're basically boiling water all the time, whether it's coffee or for food. So I wanted to try it out. And uh, since I'm in, in the middle of a native reserve and couldn't find a place with an established campfire, I had to make do with the gas stove, so, but it worked fine. Uh, I had the smallest gas canister you can find and uh, I think I pretty much emptied it uh, with all the cooking I've done, so. Uh, one of those for cooking, uh, not just boiling water quick. Uh, I think I would count with one a day and uh, it's good to know, so. One small canister for a hike, and I guess there is some in the bottom I can use next time. And I've been sleeping like a baby, as usual in a hammock. Uh, I didn't fly the tarp. Uh, I took a chance and it paid off, so uh, um, I woke up sometime in the middle of the night and it, actually I could see the stars glimpsing below. Between the trees, uh, but then uh, came the clouds again, and so the temperature has been pretty nice during the night. I woke up early with the birds, uh, and I went out, and I felt it was, you know, you feel like this, it's cold. So I went back in there and snoozed for two hours more, but now. The sun is starting to warm up, and I think it's basically time to break camp uh, and just sit around here and I think I spend some more time with a book that I've been uh, listening to actually. Uh, uh, it's called Rewilding, and it's quite interesting. Uh, I'm in the middle of it, so I won't give a review on that one, but uh, I like it. But now, time to plan the rest of the day. Uh, and it will be pretty much chilling today before I go home. I'll see you later on. One of the purposes of this hike was to try new gear. Uh, I tried the new gas kitchen and uh, I wanted to try a new knife, or new to me. Uh, this was very kindly sent to me of a subscriber. Uh, and it's a Felkniven F1. Uh, I think he was uh, 
a bit provoked when I said I didn't own a Bushcraft bush knife uh, in my review of the Mora Kansbol. Uh, so he very kindly sent me one. I, as he said, send a little something. Uh, he According to him, he didn't really get along with this one. Uh, so it mainly been unused, lying around and he thought it would be some kind of a homecoming for this one since it's a Swedish knife from the beginning. Uh, I guess many Anglo-Saxons say Falkniven. Uh, in Swedish it's Falkniven, that translates to folding knife. Uh, but this is a fixed blade and uh, according to the website I checked it out. Uh, this is the survival knife for the Swedish Air Force pilots. And uh, first impression, it's it's looking brutal. Uh, it's a plastic handle uh, and a very thick blade. And it's a convex grind. Uh, that means I have to learn a new way to grind my knives. I only use uh, Scandi, grind, Scandi grinds usually, so uh, this is a new experience for me. And uh, the previous owner, uh, he did a good job in sharpening this one. I'm willing to bet good money that it's sharper now than when it was delivered. Uh, I tried it out, uh, making some feather sticks and uh, the grinding of this one, it really lends itself to doing feather sticks. It, they, just bends out, uh, so it's very simple. But since I haven't really had the use of a campfire, this so I haven't done uh, serious wood prepping, batoning woods and so forth. So uh, th that's a bit of a disappointment that I didn't get to try this out for real. Uh, on the other hand, it gives me an excuse to go for another hike uh, where I have to try it. Uh, but my first impression, it's it's heavy duty. It's made for to take a beating. You can see that just by watching. Uh, it's full tang. Uh, you could run a ferro road on this end. I think you can drive in nails with this end. Uh, uh, this is a 90 degree spine. Uh, it's easier to get a spark from the Mora Kansbol, I can tell you that. Uh, but it still works. Uh, short blade, uh, thick blade. Uh, but since I mainly use wrist thick wood for uh, my fires, uh, so you can see this is enough batoning wood. Uh, and I think small trees, I best you can get, you can chop them down with this one if you really, really have to. Uh, it's just the right size for my hand. Uh, I feel a little awkward about the handle. Uh, I'm used to uh, the rounded handles on the Mora and uh, my previous knife, the Martini. Uh, so to so this square one, it's a bit awkward in the beginning. I guess uh, I will learn to appreciate it more later on. Uh, the plastic and, and the patterning feels like it gives a good grip even if this one is wet. Uh, but it takes some getting used to, I guess. Uh, it has a hole for a lanyard here, uh, but it's in the middle of my grip, so I probably won't put a lanyard in it, yeah, mainly in the way. And as I said before, I have to learn how to properly sharpen a convex grind. Uh, nothing that I'm used to, or nothing I've done before, actually. So, um, But for now, it's razor sharp, so uh, it takes some while before I beat it into the need of sharpening. Uh, and I also got a sheath. Uh, it's not the original. Uh, he sent that too. Uh, but this, I'm not sure. He hasn't answered me. I asked him if this, he has got this custom made or if he, he did it himself. Um, there is a leather sheath for this one. Uh, when you look at the website for Falkniven F1, uh, but it looks like nothing like this. Uh, and it's a leather sheath, uh, it's a dangler, and it has an attachment for a ferro rod, and I just love it. Uh, it's a snug grip. Uh, whoever did this did a real good job. Um, I'm still waiting for the answer if he had it custom built or did it himself. 
Uh, no matter what uh, the original sheath, it's plastic. I'm sure it's f good in every way, uh, but I just love this. I will never use the original sheath. This this knife lives here from now on. That much I can tell you, and uh, and it's easy to get out from the, from the sheath. Um, and it's made by a right-handed person, for a right-handed person, a left-handed, so it gets backwards. But when I get it out, I just twist it around, it's ready to go, so it's not really a problem. Um, so I like this, and uh, he said he wanted to be anonymous, and I will respect that. But uh, anyway, a heartfelt thank you for this one. It's This is a gift for a king. Uh, I will try it out. Uh, as you said, it's a bit awkward. I don't know what to make of it. Um, probably I get used to it. I won't desert my Mora. Uh, it will accompany me too. But uh, I guess this one, uh, at least for a while, uh, will deal with the more heavy duty thing, things in camp. And then we'll see if it's here to stay or if it gets a silent life in retirement. It's to be seen. Uh, I think I need at least this summer to decide on its, on its fate, as to speak. But um, there will be more... Uh, I lost that word. Um, this one will show up more in videos later on. Uh, it's, go it's a good knife, I can say, tell you that. And uh, the question is, how good? But we'll find out later on. Well, that's it for this time. Time to head home, time to look at the footage. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, press that subscribe button and the bell and I'll see you next time. But until then, take care. Cheers.